we are finally here playing Europa Ancient, the Rome Total War mod for Medieval 2. And I thought, you know what, let's do the Stupii a go. I always play the Julii, I always play the Prutii, the Stupii I rarely play, because I hate missile cavalry. But I'm hoping it's a little easier to deal with in this mod. First things first, um, oh we don't have Senate missions do we? So we're not going to get anything for our tech in Syracuse. So we don't technically need to go to war with the Greeks, but I will do anyway. Uh, let's take a look, what characters do we have? So we've got this guy here, some command, political promise, he's smart and generous, okay. Um, Pergamon mercenaries, what are they like? Missile attack of 8 and mercenary hoplites. Hmm, we've got the money, I say we just go for them. Let's get this army here, besieging Syracuse. Uh, let's build some ladders. And what else can we bring in here? So these are costing me no upkeep at all. So really, they might be best in my city for now. What are we actually up against here? Hmm, they've got one general, some hoplites. I might, I might bring them in later though. Uh, what do we want to build? Uh, a port is always good, but the, oh, this is medieval too. So the entire economic system works very differently. In that case, then, a port might not be the best choice. In Medieval 2, it's better to go farming. So I'm going to assume this is more like Medieval 2. But we'll put the port in queue as well. And let's get out another Hastati. I can't spam Hastati. But we can get two units out in the same turn. This is going to really mess with my head. <laughs> it's already getting to me a bit. Uh, good to see public order is okay. Uh, is that a sheep? A giant sheep inside my city there. <laughs> Alright, uh, get my ships here. Uh, we'll, yeah, bring that guy along. And we will bring... Do I want this guy? He's got good command. And we can get Principes here. So, get Principes and the Hastati out. They'll go with the general. Uh, we'll go for a port here. Only one temple. Uh, but that's fine. We don't really need it. And I guess we get a... Ooh. We have no super faction here. The Senate could go to war with us, or the Brutii could go to war with us at any moment. I say we actually keep these guys in Kapua, and we sit here and wait for them to come to us. In that case, then, we're going to need more units here. Velictes, yeah, not going to do it for us. We've got better cavalry anyway in the generals. So yeah, still go for the port for now, but be prepared, I would say. When can we upgrade the settlement? At 6,000. I'm going to want better units. I'll figure it out as I go. Do we have any trade with them? Okay, yes, we already have trade. So this diplomat here can go up to the goals or something. But yeah, what I mean is, we can go to war now. We can start the civil war this very second. But that means the AI can do that to us as well. So, I don't know how this campaign will go. I got to move my spy, but that doesn't matter. Let's put him here. Uh, we've got Akat here, the Carthaginian spy, and I think there's a Carthaginian army somewhere nearby. Uh, let's get these Astarte into the main force. Diplomat, you keep going up north. Okay, what can we recruit? So when can we've got to wait four turns? This this could get this could get quite problematic, I think. Uh, let's in that case, we're going to need to build a practice range anyway. Because it's going to take us so long until we can get units out. Uh, we should put this under siege. Let's attack it now. Can we win this fight? Let's give it a go. My first ever Medieval 2 Rome Total War Hybrid Battle. And this is what I hear about Medieval 2. Fog, fog, fog. Okay, there we go. I haven't actually looked at these units yet, these Romans. I like the shields. Ah, I do like how they look. The Hestarta here. Looking nice, what are these then? So they look like Cretans, but they're javelin them. And then our phalanxes. Yeah, they look good. And our archers and velictes as well. I do like the velictes. Okay, so how do we approach this battle? Hmm, maybe we just go at them from the front, I think. That might be our best bet. Try and just force them through with the infantry. To be honest, I don't think I've played a Medieval 2 Siege in about three years. 
Oh, poo. <laughs> They're all on the walls. These towers are going to be deadly. They've got phalanxes everywhere. A, a line of uh, pelters and then a line of phalanxes. The cavalry's here as well. Right, so my thought is fighting them head on was not going to work. But now we can bring forwards the ram. Only one tower is activated. And they're all going to fight the other ones. Please don't burn down this ram. Or I'm in a troublesome spot. Uh, you guys over here. Yeah, keep going round this way. Capture that gatehouse. Come on, soldiers. Get the ram over here. I need it. I need it to make it. We can lose as many Hestati as we want. Within reason, obviously. As long as the ram makes it. Yes. Okay, okay. We're good, we're good. Whew. That was a bit worrying. And, yeah, you guys keep coming round this way. Other ladder unit. Yeah, you get round here. And you'll probably attack that side of the wall. And the ram, we're still being shot at. But that's fine. I'm fine with that. We're done to make a breach. What do they have in here? A lot of infantry. Okay. Hmm. General, I want you round here, and then round here. Okay, the breach has been made, and now try stand here, out of range of those towers. What are you doing, you idiots? Come on. <laughs> Poor guy. Right, what are they doing now? They're stepping out of a city. Hmm. Try fill your javelins in, and you can go onto the wall here now. General, you can run through that gate then. Other ladder team, you get on the wall over here. Seeing as though they're focusing now more on the gate. We're fighting them just outside of the city. I want to bring in more troops, but then the towers will just fire at me. So maybe we just accept this and sacrifice our Hestata here. Use it to distract their troops, and then we'll get another foothold in the city sort of thing. Or do I just want to bring all of my infantry and just try and batter my way through this front? Archers. That's the answer. Get here, and then they can shoot at them on the side. It is going to be their shielded side, but it might not be that bad. General, how are you looking? Yeah, so get, get set up here. Get ready to run into the city. Oh, we're coming round this way a little bit. I don't like that. Uh, but this unit, at least, is going to get in. Okay, archers, yeah, you can fire now. You can fire, right? Fire! Come on! <laughs> and now they're going in. That, that was absolutely pathetic. Okay. Get back into your position then. Forget, forget about those. They're now out of range. Um, okay, no, no. Okay, it's, it's archers anyway. So fight these on the walls here. Let's start fighting them on the wall. We should cut through those. Yep, archers are shooting them again because they're getting stuck on the wall for some weird reason. <laughs> I'm not going to complain about it. This lot is also on the wall. They are warmed up. I would say they should get here, ready to push onto the gatehouse from this side. How are these guys looking? We've lost a few of them, but they're killing a lot. They, they are definitely making this worthwhile. They're going to take out all of their archers on the walls, and then what do we have? Then it's Peltus. Hmm, I kind of need another unit over here. I start it once again. You need to fight these guys. And then the archers should shoot them in the back. Good. Arrows coming in. And they get a load of kills. Okay, that works for me. That's excellent. Um, I, I just want to capture this gatehouse, really. That's the only reason why I'm here. Are they getting arrow shots on me, or is it raining? No, it's just raining. <laughs> I didn't know if they were shooting at me or not. Okay, at what point, though, do I charge in the infantry? I think it's got to be now. Because they're pulling that way. What do I have over here? Oh, we've only got one start to spare anyway. Right, you charge into that. Okay, good, good. Their archers are breaking on this side. So we should hopefully cut them down as they retreat. And then I want you to... Ooh, what do we do? Do we push onto the peltus on the wall? Or do we go for the gatehouse? I say we go for the gatehouse. We'll take more damage doing this, but I think we just need to open that up. Okay, archers now move forwards, and then shoot at the ones on the walls. Uh, you lot, start heading down this way. Good, they've got him there now, so we're going to take this gate. I say we push through and attack their general. Hopefully we've got the strength. What's happening over here? 
Mm. Okay, so we've taken this. Keep pushing this way. Uh, but walk. I don't want you getting tired. This unit here. Running. We can now... Can we run in through this way yet? No, nope, this way, cavalry. Oh, no, no, this gatehouse is ours. It's ours. We've got it. There we go. Okay, now this unit. Now I'm happy for them to charge those. Take out those pelters. The general can run in. Get him to the plaza. See what the AI thinks of that. These guys, they're just taking unnecessary casualties. Get the hoplites moving in. Mm, I would know. The Hestatis not going to kill this heavy cav unit. And then the missiles, what are they going to do for? There's really nothing, right? Pull them back. No point taking all of those losses. Uh, this unit here, also get up on the walls. Uh, cavalry, yeah, run down those archers. Quick, quick, quick. I definitely prefer um, the original Rome's combat, but Medieval 2 does have its advantages here and there. Come on, come on, come on. Kill that final one. All right, now run onto the plaza. Good. We'll start capturing this. Our hoplites are coming in now. Go on. Go on for it. Oh, they're only walking. Right, run, run, run. Get in here as quick as possible. If they charge me in the back, I am doomed. But hopefully they should start retreating to the plaza now instead. Yes, so now they're going to pull off the wall. Right, hoplites, yep, yeah, you're in there now. Put your phalanxes down, or whatever it is you've got. And you are a spare unit, so hopefully you can deal with them. This unit... Yes, that's coming round this way. Your job is to hit those. So then they cannot come off the wall, or at least they'll struggle to come off the wall. Your general is safe here. They are coming up for me though. I want one of these hoplites, the weaker one, to start... Yes, good, we killed their general. I want one of them to start coming down this way. Enemy general killed. The other one, this one, you attack the Peltus. Or are they retreating down that way? Alright, they're retreating down that way, you also head for the plaza. Two minutes and then we win it. We're retreating here though, even though we've killed their general. But that's kind of expected. Right, try and capture this gatehouse then, just to stop them from using it. I prefer Rome Total War though, where you take over the gatehouse. I do prefer that system. Where are they? They're here with their hoplites. Astarte, you've got to get down here quick. I wish I had another cav unit, that could then slow them down. It's only 34, but still, 34 is quite a bit. Come on, come on units, get over here. Get that gatehouse. Our hoplites holding out quite well, to be honest. They're fighting the cavalry though, but at least they didn't break with the Hastati. Okay, come on, just kill the final few. Get them out of the way with so we can hit these. Where are they? They're almost here. Can they make it back here in one minute? I... Oh, we're done the struggle with this battle if we don't take the plaza. Their cavalry is gone, so now you hit these guys here in the back. Out of phalanx mode, run. Run, run, run. Try and distract those two. The gate is now ours. I want my missile units to start running in here. They are now safe to do so. Hoplites, come on. Hop, not hoplites, um... Hestati, come on. Okay, they're taking the lead. This unit here, you run them down. Ah! I clicked the wrong thing, I clicked the wrong thing. Alright. You run them down, you have the lead, so you get to the plaza. 30 seconds. Get set up on the front. Do not let them touch the plaza. And we still need to hold it. At what point do I charge? What's the right perfect second here? Hoplites, you can put your spares down now. Actually, no. no keep running for them. 10 seconds! I need to charge at them at some point so they don't touch the plaza. But I still need to be on it myself. Charge! I will accept that victory. <laughs> we lost a lot of men there. But me remember, medieval two sieges are brutal. Whew. I think we would have won it if we fought it normally. We were breaking through at that point. But yeah, I, I had fun there. I do like to cheese the AI every now and then, but I think we'd won it anyway. I think we were going to be alright. But every life matters in this army, because replenishing is going to be tough. And we will, I think, um, occupy the settlement. Yeah. Yeah, no need to exterminate the population. Okay, so what do we build here? Militia barracks gets us principes, yes. Uh, this is not actually the governor upgrade, though. This is not the city upgrade. You upgrade it via walls because it's medieval too. Uh, what's the religion here? It's fully Greek. So actually we need Mars first. Yeah, to start converting it over. And that's causing 
a lot of religious issues. Uh, retrain, we can't retrain anybody yet because we've got to wait for the units to actually come into the slot. Can't recruit anyone here, so for now we're just going to have to hold out in Sicily. If this was original Rome Total War, at this point I would make the push onto Carthage, but we can't. We have to wait. Which is good, I, I, I do like it, it's different. I think I need to play this a bit more. Let me know if you want to see a stream on this, I think it could be really cool. And let me know what faction as well, because it really does change how you see the game, how you think, how you play, and all of that. Uh, does grain work in the same way? Uh, base farm level, farm upgrades health. No, I don't think it does. I just saw the grain there. Oh, it, it says it does increase population growth. But for example, this city here does not have grain, Capua, and yet, you know, I don't see any real difference. Oh, we did get a mission though. Um, from the Council of Nobles, talk with Gaul. I'm fine with that, I'm going there anyway. Yes, I think Gaul is in Patavium around here. Carthage don't like me, that's okay. Greeks at war with the Macedonians, and Carthage is here with an army. But if they attack me, I'm fine with that. I do want a peasant unit though. And I am also going to build a barracks here as well, because I do want those principes. What is the difference in stats here? Uh, so that's 7 and 16, 7 and 14, so it's the same Rome Total War stats, I think, roughly. We can retrain another Hastati. It's only one man, though, so do it like that instead. Let's take a look at this guy here. So he has chivalry now. That increases the population growth. Carthage has grown to war with us, starting off with a blockade. That's going to cost us a bit of money. Ah, Gaul, here you are. Uh, let's get to trade. Barely accepted. Okay, now do we go? I think we go for the Greeks. We'll make more money in the Greek world. Annoyingly, Patavium's blocking my path here. You can't just walk around it, I've got to go all the way through the Alps. Yeah, we can retrain the Hoplites now, retrain the Hastati. This general, step him outside of the city, and no mercenaries. I want to see what medieval two Cretan archers are like. Oh, I really want to push onto Carthage, but I got to replenish everybody first, and it's taking so long. <laughs> Okay, let's get the army, let's leave behind the two weak ones then, and let's move out of the city. Stand on the grain. What else can we bring here? We can bring another heavy cav unit, I might have to bring the faction leader. Yes, he has a lot more command anyway, and he's old, so we might as well be a bit risky with him. Uh, incompetent trader, good with infantry, yeah, yeah, a true Roman then. Right, this guy will lead the army, but I, I'll be risky with him, I expect him to die. Who is our faction heir? Because he does need some combat experience to get his authority up. But I can't really pull him out of there because he needs to fight in Rome when the civil war happens, which could be very soon. We need to lower the taxes here. We need to recruit a couple more units. Syracuse is very unhappy with us. And do we then build the governor's villa? I think we do. Okay, the governor, actually no, we don't have to convert it over as well, so go like that. Uh, this city here, uh, go for the farming. And then, we, we don't need a trader yet. And the capital, once you have built that, I say go for that, the trader, for the population growth. What does this actually get, get us? Nothing, it's just public order and conversion. Uh, yeah, and then that city can upgrade by the time that trader is done. Uh, bride presented, sure. Uh, Gaius Scipio here is the guy that got married. A bit of an age difference there, he's almost double her age. <laughs> okay, so the capital now can recruit another Principes, another Hastati, and a Velites. The Sana can also get another Hastati out now, and Syracuse, good, Principes and Hastati. And we can retrain that guy as well. Still no mercenaries. Uh, spy, get in the city, and die. Okay, great. Okay, push onto it then, put it under siege. Again, build a load of ladders. What do they have in here? I think they've got elephants somewhere around. Fiagris defending the city. Iberian infantry. Militia, Peltas and Militia. The Greek cities are here, with a boat. Luckily no army. Uh, we can get some reinforcements shipped in now, so... Ooh, what's our authority like? Because they might revolt against us. Authority is okay. I need to bring them with a general then. Yeah, because if I leave him like that, that's a peasant unit. Sent the wrong one. Uh, yeah, put him there. 
you go back to Masana. If I leave this guy like that, he's probably going to revolt and go rebel. So he needs a general here. Can they reach him? Uh, no, not yet. So move them a little further forwards again. Right, the peasants literally did not revolt. Put them back in the city. Carthage and Greece blockading me at every single port. That's costing as well, losing money as well. Right, good, we got them off that. And then we need to replenish them. We've got a massive army here. It's costing us a fortune. That's why we're not making money. Imagine that, playing Rome Total War and struggling financially. Upgrade the stone wall, then we can get the better barracks. And eventually the Triarii. We can get more units out of here. I kind of want to click on it, but at the same time I know I can't. We cannot afford it. New reinforcements, join the army. This general can go back to Syracuse now, to govern that city. This fleet attacked the Greeks, next turn. And now we make the push, I think, for Lilibaeum. So now we have the better infantry. I think we just charge at them here. I don't want Principes carrying the ram though. I think the Principes can stay back a little bit. Yeah, we're fighting malicious, so we should be able to cut through these guys fairly easily. Ooh, they're already shooting at us, all of them. Alright, so we can't put a ladder there. That's annoying, so you go there, you go there. You knock down that, you go there, you go there, and you go there. Yep, everybody run forwards. Generals, you get set up here. Ladder's going up. Yeah, we should really easily be able to cut through these militia. Climb up there, you Romans. Here we go, here we go. I'm happy that it's just a little wooden wall. That does help out quite a bit. General, I actually want you a little further forwards here for the morale boost. And yes, go on, Romans. Cut them all down. Beat those militia. See, we're, we're slaughtering them. Are we winning over here as well? Not actually fighting over here. So in that case, you push for those. We've made a breach. Yeah, so you hit them in the back. You capture the gate now. Yeah, go for that unit there before they reinforce these. General, are you ready to run in the city yet? Yeah, I think you are. Right, you get in there. Oh, come on, soldiers. Don't tell me there's too many of you on the walls and you're now stuck. Okay, sadly, it seems everyone... I think the game's just paused here. No one's able to fight anyone. But it's not crashed. It's just, it's just paused. Units can move, but they can't fight. They're stuck on the ladders. No, why are you all stuck? General, I've told you to get in here like three times already. The gate's open. Oh no, okay. Sieges are a little bugged, it seems. Okay, I'll have to take note of that. Okay, General, are you able to attack? Okay, now, now he's able to attack. Can you move that way? Nope. Okay, you're all stuck then. Is anyone fighting over here? Yeah, there's some fighting there. Right, come on, can you attack? No, they're stuck as well. What about if you just stand on the wall instead? Nope, okay, never mind. In that case, then just push him for their general with the units that we can use. Hoplites are going to be needed in here as well. Uh, can these guys do anything at all? Get off a wall, perhaps? Okay, if I can get off the wall. Okay, and then that makes them up. So what I think I've got to do is click these guys off of a wall and then click them to attack. You do the same, off the wall, and then attack. And let's try it again, off the wall, and then attack those guys. No, come on. Oh, my general's dead. Which I, I kind of wanted anyway. I just wanted to have his unit be put to some good use. Because he was going to die anyway of old age. Uh, it does mean they're now breaking. Right, you put your phalanxes down, fight them. They've broken there. Come on, take out that unit. Can you reinforce? No, are, are you also stuck? Are you stuck again now? Oh, poo. Right, we've got one of the units off the walls. Come on, soldiers, please help me out here. We're going to win it either way. But I don't like how buggy that battle was. And I don't know if that was for mod or just Medieval 2 being Medieval 2. Yeah, I just don't feel these guys are actually, like, fighting normally as they should. They're just... They're not fighting, if you know what I mean. They're just... Every now and then one might take a hit, but they're more just standing next to each other. I 
think it's just this battle though. Hopefully it's just this one battle that's bugged. Yeah, we got their general now. He's dead. And one final unit left. Get that one killed. There we go. We eventually were able to take that plaza there. We lost our faction leader, but that doesn't matter. He was 56 years old. I feel sorry for any 56 year old viewer though. I don't mean to panic you. And it's Carthaginian, so we'll exterminate the city. Uh, we'll have to build that. We'll build a port, basic roads, retrain them, lower the taxes to get the population up. We'll eventually bring a fleet round here. We'll get the army all fully put together and then push on for Carthage. I think the civil war will hit at some point soon as well. So I need to be somewhat prepared for that. New faction leader for authority. Good, could be worse. And now this guy is our faction heir. Mission failed, send a diplomat to Illyria. I'm right here, I'm right outside. <laughs> As it is like here or something. I say we recruit another Principes here. We'll get another Principes here. And those will push for Carthage eventually. Faction heir, you get into those boats. You push down this way and then bring the fleet back. You can join this army. Good, the Romans like me. Hopefully we can avoid a civil war for now then. And Carthage is at war with Numidia, so hopefully they're distracted there. What can we get out of this? Triarii there? Or archers? Triarii or archers? I'm gonna go archers. I really don't trust Triarii. <laughs> they're expensive as well. Archers, what are they like? Missile attack of seven. Yeah, just spam a load of archers. In Medieval 2, I think that could work out for me. But it's an expensive build in 2,400 gold. Illyria, here we are. So let's get trade. Can we get some maps? Yeah, sure. And now push down for Macedon. Uh, oh, mission success. Oh, oh, they sent me the mission the same turn, so I got 500 gold out of that anyway. Oh, that is nice. Okay, Principes, you stand there. General, you take over them. This general pulls back into the city. Still no good mercenaries here, but are we building in every city? Yes, good. Get these guys round here into the port. Retrain those ships. And retrain the Hastati. A thousand gold for a fort, but only a hundred for a watchtower. So that's not too bad. I do want a couple of watchtowers around here. Uh, one near Syracuse as well would be good. Speaking of which, uh, can we put one here? Yep. Okay, you get back into the city and then can you put one just there? So that we can see when the Romans are going to attack us. Because I think they will. And I've also got to remember, because I've just realised this, when the civil war begins, there's a green arrow here. So what I'm going to have to do is get a town watch and a peasant. Yeah, get a few more of them out. And try and, you know, use the stone wall here. It's a wooden wall. Alright, never mind then. <laughs> But I've got to do something here to, like, hold back these Romans. Because it could get quite ugly if they suddenly rampage through Sicily whilst my main legion is in Carthage. If I was actually playing this strategically, I would just go to war that, with Rome at this point. I would start it myself. Bruti, I have Salona. And then once the capital has built a practice range, what do we want to go for next? A blacksmith would be good. Yeah, let's get a blacksmith built. And Syracuse, how is the religion looking here? We've got it to 17% Roman. Not bad. Let's get trade and maps shared with Macedon. Um, yeah, sure, I'll take an alliance. It might be good for us when fighting the Brute TI. Okay then, so what is our legion looking like right now? Led by our faction heir with a backup general. He's got some good command. Uh, anything we have to worry about. Anything like, anything that's going to hurt morale or anything. And uh, no, it doesn't look like it. We've got our legion here, three Principes, five Hastati, plus some other stuff. Get them on the ships. And I'm a little worried about some of these fleets, so I don't, I don't know if I can actually make that. So I'll wait for one more turn, and then we'll send them. That means we now have no legion in Sicily. Uh, let's get some archers out as well. Okay, yes, this is much better for us. So Carthage is somewhere around here. Yes, just there. Uh, Thapsus is there as well. I might push for Thapsus first. Uh, let's get some Libyan mercenaries. Something to push for rams. And you s stay there for now with a boat. We've got a Numidian fleet here as well. Okay then, let's take Thapsus first. 
the fleet can get back to the port at Lilibayam. Ah, so we built the blacksmith, but we can't get anything on our Hastati. Why not? Hmm, well that, that's disappointing. I was really hoping to get something better out of that. Uh, does it get better later on? Upgrading melee units plus two. Yeah, I think I need the next tier, but I need the market for that. So we'll build, we'll build a market here. Let's at least try and retrain everyone as, whilst we can. Mm, but that is a bit disappointing. Carthage coming with reinforcements, but I'm not worried about that. Let's take this city. And I think what we need to do here is try the same thing as before, but hope it works this time. So that exact same plan as before, but hope for a different result basically. <laughs> Hopefully it's just not going to bug on us. Last time the problem was it was just buggy. Uh, General, you get nearby as well, because we're going to need you. And yeah, hopefully they don't burn the ram down, but if they do, it, it's not too much of a problem. We should take the gates. Yeah, good, the ram got to the wall, the ladders are there, and everyone now should march up. And again, we should be able to cut through these. It's slingers, militia, and all of that. Some Iberian infantry here, which could be a challenge, but we got two Astartes coming this way. Oh, you'd think so, but no, there are two units going up the same stupid ladder. Balance of power heavily in our favour, so we should be alright. I'm going to bring my two generals forward, actually, at this point. And I say we just charge him there with them. Or do we want to do that? Their cavalry was pulling back, so it made sense earlier. But now... Hmm. Well, I mean, they're not going to actually charge him there anyway, because they can't attack. Yeah, yeah, alright, this is very bugged. You've got to press multiple times, it seems. Right, now they're going in. But now I don't know if I actually want them in there. Pull back now. Um, make sure we've actually taken the full walls first. Yeah, so start to go on. This is the Libyan Spearman. Probably their most elite unit up here. Okay, generals, I think you can charge in now. What do they have back there? That is some cavalry. The heavy cavalry is there. That's the main threat. But if my generals are... Never mind, don't charge in. Ah, it's so buggy. Okay, now we've captured the gatehouse, it seems to work fine. So it seems smashing it open doesn't really do that much for us. You have to capture it instead. Which I, I kind of don't like, that's annoying. Uh, but we seem to have destroyed most of their infantry. Okay, I've been trying now for so long to get these archers on the walls, but they just won't do anything. Come on, archers, please. Get on, like, go on that side of the wall first. Right, so if I can get on that bit of the wall, yeah, get all of them up there, and then go on to this side. Nope, that's not possible. Okay, what about go to that side? And then halt. Okay, I think that's the best I'm going to get. <laughs> What's your range? You can't reach it anyway. Okay, phalanxes, this is on you. Push forwards, bring the general's bodyguards up as well with you. And hopefully the spearmen should be able to take out their cavalry. Let's see how that works. Pikemen, you are in phalanx mode, so push forwards. And pray this works out for us. We have left quite a big opening. Okay, good, good. I'm liking how it looks so far. Okay, this is somewhat working. Okay, this is working. I'm happy with how this is going. Uh, we've got our cavalry on the flank ready to charge in. They do have some Libyan spearmen, though, which I need to be worried about. Um, I say we bring our Hastati up as well, or at least get them nearby. Good, we took out that entire cav unit without taking any losses. So now, we push in for their general. Can we replicate the same over here? But we do have to worry about their spearmen. Their spearmen's going to do a lot of damage, but their cavalry again is struggling. So spears, very good against cavalry in this spot. Sventriari, I hopefully might actually be useful for us i might get a unit of triarii in our main capital then yeah i'm liking how this phalanx units unit is working it's not like the original it does definitely fight in a different way but it's it's not dreadfully weak at least and we took the city well done soldiers good job we will again exterminate the city and we'll build some basic buildings here uh, can't replenish for Hastati, unfortunately, but I do want to push for Carthage, so we'll do that next turn, I think. And good, the faction air is gaining a bit of dread on him as well, so that should hurt the enemy's morale. 
which is going to be very helpful in taking the walls of those sieges. Now we march up to the bridge. Hmm, ooh, ooh, that's a big stack on the bridge. I think we just stand on the bridge and see what they do. Uh, our Hastati are a little battered, but it's okay, we've got the Principes. If we can fight it on the bridge battle, we should be all right. Come on, Carthage, attack me on the bridge. Or are they going to get a ceasefire? Or just trying to bribe me? Okay. They're attacking Thrapsus. I think we can hold out there. Right, what have I bring in? Four units, four units of what exactly? Peasants, Iberian infantry and peasants. Huh, even the captains have portraits, which is very odd to see. I'm not used to that. Ooh, and Masana is ready for an upgrade. That's very good. Right, so they're stood there. Bomulkar. Bomulkar is outside. Hmm, we're on the bridge. I do like the bridge position. I say we stand here for one more turn. See if I attack. If not, then we attack them. It's mostly militia. Some Libyans, but I want to see a bridge battle. Come on, Carthage, attack me, please. Right, they're attacking me in the siege, at least. We are outnumbered two to one, but I think we've got better units. They only have one ram, so they're all going to funnel through. Peasant general, let's fight it. Okay, Javelinman, you get there. Javelinman, you get there. Missile cavalry, <clears throat> get to the gatehouse. This I don't like about Medieval 2. Where even are they? Right, here. Like, <sighs> come on, please. Like, how far do I have to stretch them? I should be able to just, like, click here and they go there as best as possible. What if I have them facing the other way? No. Okay, is that... Can we get something there? Can I put my units in here? No. Okay, I think that's the best we're going to do. That's the closest we're going to get. I kind of want to run out of the city. Right, we've got to go quick for now. Yeah, get out of here. The tower's shooting. Good. And because it's a missile cav unit, get your javelins in there. The peasants are not as weak as Rome Total War peasants, I don't think. I think it's still medieval. No, it, it is Rome Total War peasants in terms of stats. Oops. But they, they're not in loose formation. It's not like the circular blob of 120, if you know what I mean. It's, it's more like a tight formation of peasants. Where is the general? He's one of these. I think he's... Which one is he? he he's one of these units here. I, I like that in Rome Total War you can actually see which the general is because of the banner. Okay, they're at the gate. Yeah, keep getting those javelins in. Eventually we'll charge them as well. Yeah, you keep getting your javelins in as well. They could push for the plaza. Which would be worrying. Again, okay, there's final javelins in there, weaken them as much as possible to make this charge as easy as we can get it. Are they even knocking down the gate? The towers are still shooting. Okay, now they've started. Right, we're out of ammo, so pull back and get ready for a big charge. What's what unit is at the behind? Iberian infantry. Hmm. When well, running out of ammo on the javelins, they're pulling off the gate again. I don't know what they're doing. It must be my cav unit messing them up. So I'd say that's more my fault. But yeah, for now, I'm happy to wait. Because we're killing so many of theirs with the towers and the missiles anyway. Let's wait now. We don't have to charge yet. Once they open the gate, then we have to start worrying. Because we don't have anything that can fight in melee. Neither do they, technically speaking. But I'd, I'd still rather not risk it. Okay, where is their general then? Right, their general is here. We've still got some javelins left on the javelin then. What is the gate looking like? It's at 84%. Mm, right. Cavalry, get round here. And now charge in. Try to kill their general. That's the goal here. He's a peasant general. It should be an easy kill somewhat. That's, a, that's the most pathetic charge I've ever seen. <laughs> Never mind. You know what? Forget about it. <laughs> right, they are now in the city. One of them has broken, I think. Yes, that's good. Is it... Is it the Iberian infantry that broke, or the peasants? Right, charge in anyway. Tower cannot fire backwards in... Oh, can it? No, tower cannot fire backwards into the city. But you can run them down, or at least try to. And I say we just hold the wall for now, see what they plan to do. We can still throw our javelins at them, getting them in the back. So yeah, just a few more kills there. That is their general unit as well. He has broken, so now we're charging... Back into the city with the cavalry. 
take the gate back, and we win it. Well done, soldiers, good job. Just in time as well, we've just run out of ammo. I'm happy with that. Heroic victory as well. Execute all of them. Yeah, we hate Carthaginians. Numidia has gone to war with us, and you want me to blockade roads? Well, that's not gonna happen, is it? Okay, get a peasant unit in here. Is it peasant stats? All right, so it's original Rome total war peasant stats. Never mind them, replenish them. And we'll build the armorer now in the capital. They did not attack me, so I think it's time now to fight this in melee. Come on, Bomulcar, let's see what you're made of. Any elephants? No. Right, let's go fight. They do outnumber us, but we have the better soldiers. But they have the better terrain, so we'll have to move on to the right hand side, I think. Mm, are we done? Oh, oh, that's a mess. We've not got information in time. Okay, get the Velites units on the front. It, we, we might have just made it in time here. Right, you put your phalanxes down. We've got the Velites at the front, the Hastati, and, the, and then the Frinkipes at the back in case we need them. What are you shooting at? How do you have range on something? Yeah, that's what I thought. Put your javelins back in your pocket or up your butt, wherever you store it. Yeah, there's a question. Where do they store their javelins? I can have a good guess. We've got our cavalry on the right as well. They've, they've engaged us. The Hastati can hopefully hold out. Actually, that's the Velites. You know what? I, I'm, I'm okay losing the Velites. It doesn't matter too much. These archers firing? Yep. So I say we get our general cavalry units round on the flank now. Yeah, tie them out a little bit to start off with. Let them fight the Velites. Then they'll fight the Hastati. And then the Frinkipes. Fighting more like a real legion here. Uh, mercenaries, you march forwards now. Archers, pull back. You've got to be careful. And archers, fire at their... Ooh, sure that they miss out of. Okay, generals, you charge in there. Get their general killed. I ignore those. those. Those won't do anything. And now has started. I want you to start throwing your weight into all of this. Charge in here. And Pinkipes as well. You get in here as well. Yeah, just try force your way through this. Archers, uh, shoot. Yeah, shoot at the missile cavalry. You get in there. Generals, you've engaged their general. They've already retreated. If we can kill their general here, that will win the battle. Kill Bomulcar. That is your aim. Yes. Alright, we got him. Good. And now they should mass wrapped. Yep, already breaking. I wish we had more cavalry to run these guys down. Okay, and now all we've really have to do is kill the missile cavalry. Okay, well done soldiers, good job. And now how many are we going to capture here? I, I bet we're going to make it to a couple of thousand. Can we get it to 2,000 captured? And then we'll release them out of the kindness of our hearts. <laughs> Yeah, should I release them afterwards as well? No, nah, no, nah, we'll, we'll, we'll butcher them, don't worry. We'll butcher them. Right, we've hit a thousand. Yeah, run all of these down. We've won the battle as well. Get rid of all of them. Uh, General, you take out those. Don't let any of these get out of here. Run them all down. Luckily, it was mostly militia, which, which made this battle a lot easier, because they have dreadful morale. But if only I had more cavalry. A, a, a good light cav unit, an Equites, for example. Yeah, a lot of them are sadly getting away, there were just too many to run down. Uh, but we've made it to 1,500, take out those militia there. What else is there left? General, yeah, you go for them. This guy run down all of those. There's so many of them, but there were thousands of them there. <laughs> we, can we still get it to 2,000 though? I think we can. Surely there's, there's got to be another 300 to run down somewhere. Another 60 there? Nah, I don't think we're gonna do it. We'll hit 1,800. Ah, oh, nah, they're gonna get away. Alright then, 1,750 captured. That's good. Hardly any killed overall, but it's just their morale that broke. And I think that was our first field battle as well, so it went, it went very well for us. We can get 3,000 gold out of this, but no, we'll... We have to execute. Now then push onto that army there. They're going to fight this, so we could avoid a siege here if we run down both armies. They've got Bisalts here. That's, he's guarding the city. Balance of power, not too happy about it though. Uh, oh, the Poena infantry. Right, they're a bit stronger. Yeah, so the Carthaginian, the, the force in Carthage is a worry. The rest of it is mostly trash. 
Right, T-Van, so, set up in a similar way as before, because I think it worked out for us. They're not going to charge for us, I don't think, though. So we need to push more onto them. And I've got to be quick as well, because their reinforcements are coming in from there. And I don't want them crashing down into my flank later. Hmm. We need to charge forwards a bit more, I think. Uh, where is their general? So I think it's this unit back here, isn't it? Yes. So cavalry, get round there. Get ready to take him out. And they're mostly skirmishing with me, which is annoying. Just a delaying for time. Hmm, which we cannot allow. I think we have to charge in. Yeah, fight this in melee as quick as possible. Cavalry, yep, get their general in the back there, their Iberian infantry general. Boom, we killed him, excellent. Okay, now they should hopefully mass route. Is that going to be enough? They've engaged us now in melee. That unit there, that's a worry. That's a Poena infantry. We have to be careful about those. You hit them in the back. These are started, pull out, pull out. Be careful. Try run all of them down, but it's fine if we can't get them all. Cavalry, I want you over here now. Yeah, you've, you've done a good job. You are getting a little tired though, so get over here and get prepared for what their general's going to do. Okay, they're just charging straight in for me with their general, which I guess is a good thing, but it means everyone needs to fold in on him now. Um, I've made a mistake. I've hit my archers, pull the archers back, get my phalanxes in there. Yeah, they, they should easily break, but they blocked my charge, but we did get into their general a little bit in the back there. Yeah, go on, break them, get them out of the field, get their general killed, and then the infantry can charge on the rest. Good, the archers got out of their safe. Shoot at those now. The mercenaries fighting bees. And I think they can win that. Come on, where is their general? Get that general killed. Come on, everybody in for that general. Where is he? He's down to the final 25. I thought he would be dead by now. Come on. Where is he? He's somewhere in this mess. Someone kill him. Before their Poena infantry get my cavalry. Because that would be a difficult one to get out of. Come on, what's he down to? The final 17. Come on, come on. Don't let him flee. He's retreating. Ooh, okay. Okay, that's getting worrying now. Alright, pull the cavalry out. If he escapes, he escapes. It's just tough luck then. Yeah, he got out of there. Cavalry. Um, right, run for us down then. Right, su such a shame the general got out of all of that. Completely surrounded, but he still made it out somehow. Right, archers, shoot at their general then. You run those down because I do want those Poena infantry all destroyed. That's not going to be important. I think we've won the battle. I think we're going to be fine here. If our morale can hold. Get this cavalry unit in the back. And charge them. It is a phalanx unit but we'll charge them in the back. So we should be alright. And that should break them. Wavering. Oh poo. It's like they've got eyes in the back of their head. It's like usually if you charge them in the back, you're fine. Like in... But no, in this one, they they can like turn their spear around instantly to get you. So we lost our faction air now. When they, I, I thought it was going to be fine. I thought we were guaranteed near enough to be fine there. Uh, why, are they, why did those slingers get behind us? Ah, well, at least we should run them all down now. So hopefully we don't have to deal with those phalanxes again. Uh, but they have fled the field, though, with quite a lot of troops. One of them being a phalanx unit, so they'll probably return to the city now. I don't think we've got 85% of both armies destroyed. Maybe 85% of one of them, but not of both. Heroic victory, apparently, though. We captured a thousand of them. We need to execute these, and then hope no one pulls back into the city. But I think, I think a couple of units... I don't know, make it out of there. Yep. Not good. Look at, look at how much we've lost on our banner. Like, we've got to put it under siege. The siege of Carthage. We've got really nothing in the settlement, but it's more... They're going to use their towers. It's going to delay us. That's the real problem here. And now Flavius is our factionaire. This guy. Uh, <laughs> Carthage wants a ceasefire? Uh, nah, I think we'll decline that one. Siege of Carthage. Can we ought to resolve this? Yes, okay, good. 
and we of course have to exterminate the city and we cannot retrain anyone we can repair the wall we'll have to build a temple what else do we build we it's Carthage. we need the port obviously um okay so we can get principes in here we can get triarii if we build the legion barracks so put that in the queue as well lower the taxes build this so build this settlement up a bit uh, but it's going to take a while to convert over. Meanwhile, Hannibal, as a captain, is coming for Thapsus. I think we'll have to get a peasant unit out anyway. Cancel the buildings in Thapsus. I think we're going to lose it. And we're still slowly building our legion up here. We'll get the armourer in three turns. And just out of curiosity, how well are we doing here at converting it over? 30% converted. So yeah, slowly the city is getting happier with us. Ooh, Carthage, landing outside Rome. Interesting, but won't do anything, it's not enough soldiers. Uh, but better to have them there than landing in Sicily, I guess. In five turns, this army will be ready to start the Civil War, very early on in the game. It's going to be more like Sulla's Civil War, I guess. We'll probably strike for the Brutii first, cut them off, and then push for Rome. But that is going to have to be another episode. Let me know down below in the comments if you want to see it. I, I probably will do it, but still I need to know if people actually do want to see it or not. Hope you've enjoyed this mod so far. Please leave a like if you have. Subscribe to get notified of future videos, such as a part 2 or anything else I might upload. But for now, until the next one, Melgon.